welcome you all for this ip session uh, today we have professor unnath pandit control general of patent design and trademark and register of copyrights he oversees the intellectual property administration for government of india professor unnath pandit had made a revolutionary change in the ip ecosystem in our country sir i welcome you all on behalf of our students faculty members who is watching across this country i welcome uh, on behalf of them to this session sir i welcome you sir thank you so uh, sir you have made uh, an uh, no big impact in the ip system for our country after you were taken in charge as a control general of patent office so we want to uh, no get your experience and share your experience with the students and faculty members from uh, school and college and they also uh, should get motivated from this speech with this uh, we have got few questions from the students and uh, faculty members on behalf of them i want to ask this question to you sir sure yes the first question is uh, what kind of growth has been witnessing in the filing of patent in the last few years sir if i say that uh, in last few years the real fruits of government's attempt for the ip friendly ecosystem okay. has shown the result and while uh, answering this question i would like to refer the actual numbers okay which we have achieved in say as a in in 1314 okay uh the patent filing was roughly around 42900 okay and by last year the filing was 82800 So there is a sharp growth of 92.8 percent oh, really in the patent good. filing, okay. and while we see the overall grant, hmm. the the results are really showing much encouraging numbers. Okay. In 2013, there were around 4,200 patents got granted, okay. and by 22, the uh, 34,000 patent got granted. Okay. So there is an increase of a 700 percent. That's really in the great. patent grant yeah that's it really and great. from last year to this year hmm. if i refer that in patent filing we have shown the 25% jump oh, from 82000 till uh, in this year also okay. and uh, there is a 12% jump in the patent filing all over the world oh, why okay. we okay. have recorded last year 30.1 hmm. and 25% in this year Okay. So we are fastest growing uh, country in mm -hmm. the world as per the World Intellectual Property Organization number. Oh, okay. In terms of a patent filing, yeah. and uh, uh, while we are uh, referring to the last year's number, I would also like to submit the grant as on date. Okay. Uh, last year it was thirty-four thousand. uh till today we have around 72000 grant oh. so that's a again sharp increase yes. in the yes, uh, yes. number of grant okay. and overall disposal is uh, something which is going to touch by this year mm. uh, around 1 lakh oh that's fantastic so this is the uh, growth uh, journey in the ip ecosystem in the country okay. and uh, certainly on the patents aspect mm. it is a uh, quite encouraging on trademark aspect on an average we are granting 3.75 lakh trademarks oh okay That's since last 9 uh, years okay this is a average grant mm -hmm. and now imagine if 2% of a mark mm -hmm. are going to be say as a 1 crore brand value okay <laughs> then yes, yes. directly this new grant is mm -hmm. going to contribute to the uh, 7000 roughly Okay. Seven uh, thousand crore okay, okay, uh, okay. of a value hmm. in the uh, economy. Yeah. So this is the entire approach which hmm. we have uh, seen. The government has uh, announced the IP policy in 2016, okay. and then onwards, strategically taken various initiatives, hmm. so that uh, innovators are taking part in the growth journey. and the new innovations new intellectual property which got uh, into the practice and mm. protected okay. are now showing the result in the economic growth okay that's fantastic sir it's an overwhelming responding from the uh, academic institutions and uh, no the patent filing uh, uh, participants 
uh, it is really encouraging and uh, motivating to see that there is huge patent has been filed and there is a drastic change of 700 percent. That is something uh, we have been uh, amazed and also uh, under your dynamic leadership you have made lot of uh, uh, impact creating to the system and also we have uh, understood that you have been made lot of changes in the system to fast filing that. That is what we had understood also. Yes. Sir, I want to, or, or the next question to you sir, o, what is the status of patent filing from the academic institution in terms of number as well as quality? Definitely there is, there is again a much more surprising numbers which okay, I am sir. having. Mm -hmm. uh, see, I, I quoted the 82,000. Okay. See, uh, this 234 percent jump mm. which was recorded. In this also, there mm. is a huge jump on a Indian filing. Okay. So, earlier there used to be more than 80, 85 percent foreign filing mm. and Indian filing was around 15 percent. Okay. Now, we have completely changed the scenario. The domestic filing is 52.8 percent. Oh, great. And yeah. among this, the academic institutions has played a, a big role. Mm. So, uh, in say as a 5 years down the line, 1819, mm. the filing from the academic institution was 6700 plus okay. patent applications. Mm. In 2030, mm. uh, hold your chair, yes, sir. <laughs> the, the filing jumped to the 23500 oh, plus okay. application. Fantastic. So, this is a 247 percent jump in last 5 years. Oh, okay. You can see the uh, kind of uh, in uh, the resources which government has deployed in mm. in the uh, 14 to 19. Okay. This resources has shown the sharp growth oh. mm. into the patent filing. Yes. yes. And in grant also, mm. because grant takes was taking a time at one point in time. Okay. But from uh, eight, uh, 2018 number, if we mm. compare. Mm. that uh, it was around 1800 grants and now it is a 4600 patent got granted in 22-23, okay. okay. which is again a 151 percent jump. That's but this filing which has in been in last two years mm. from uh, 10,000 to 23,000 in okay. last two years, okay. yeah. this will Mm. show the effect in next two years. Great, that is really good. Earlier, say. there used to be a 58 months on an average to get the patent granted mm -hmm. from the request for examination to the award of a oh, certificate, certificate. Okay. for patenting. Mm. Now, this has drastically been reduced mm. to earlier from 58 to gradually we brought down to 48 now 48 to 40 and by end of this financial year we will have um, maybe around 24 to 30 months okay. from the That's RQ date. Okay. So, whatever the filing which we have seen mm -hmm. from 10,000 to 23,000 mm -hmm. by the academic institutions, okay. they will get a patent in normal course if they have applied for the request for examination okay. then in next uh, two years okay. and there is a wonderful provision which mm. government of India has made that academic institutions can expedite their examination. Oh, okay. So, rule 24 C mm. in the patent rules, okay. it is giving this flexibility to the academic institution okay. and for doing this, they will require to file form 9, okay. which is for the early publication of the application mm. and form 18 A, which mm. is required to be filed form 9 and form 18A is filed, okay, sir. then with application, mm. the entire application will go, will examine in fast track mode. Oh, that's fantastic. This is called an expedited examination. Mm. So, their application will get published in say as a 7 to 10 days from oh. the filing oh, okay. and from 18A enables that uh, within uh, uh, 30 to 45 days. Hmm. they will get the first examination report. Okay. Currently, there was some backlog. So, few applicants were observing the delay in the grant, hmm. but then in last uh, 20 months, hmm. we have worked on the expediting the entire backlog. Okay. So, those <coughs> backlog got cleared and now we have hmm. a 
a beautiful uh, the rainbow colored uh, ip regime oh, okay. looking in future yes sir that's a very uh, useful information to the participants who are seeing uh, uh, this program sir the reason is uh, because we have launched the ministry of education uh, uh, innovation cell i launched a program kalam program for ip literacy awareness uh, in uh, this program kapila uh, we have been worked jointly with your ministry and uh, we reduced the uh, filing and examination fee previously the filing fee was 8000 now we made it as 1800 yes. and uh, the examination fee was uh, 20000 now we made it as uh, 4000 so now this uh, both that uh, given value addition along with that information given by you expediting it and making it's a very useful information to all the viewers of this program today make use of this uh, facility and make sure that you file more number of patent and get benefited out of it sir uh, next question to you is sir how does this patent filing help students and faculty members in their product development from your experience you want to see uh, being academician i will see that th any research which we are doing mm. that's a hard earn investment of the uh, man hour mm. and the uh, the hard earn uh, investment of the intellectual creation which we are doing mm. knowingly unknowingly each research mm. has the ip okay we need to learn how we can identify this intellectual property Mm. and students can try their uh, to convert their final year project mm. into the patent application okay initially we may face the struggle but mm. gradually students have to learn mm. how they can protect their intellectual property mm. friends you need to understand where the ip lies like for problem statement we are identifying a problem statement and we are going into the root cause of the problem statement and with the knowledge we are trying to address this uh, problem similarly whatever the knowledge which is available from the known knowledge what exactly you have utilized and how this has utilized this will help you and gradually once you practice this then you will tell that no no my uh, research has the ip my yes. research has the intellectual property and all the premier institutes like iits the these students have already learned they are converting their research into the patent filing and once they have filed the patent they are incubating their research to the startup journey and their technology they are trying to bring into the commercial forefront now for each and every student has this potential it, it doesn't make any difference whether you are iit students or you are an engineering student from the uh, state level university yes. this is going to bring a difference in the intervention to the research application and this research application with due protection of intellectual property will offer you the market validation and this market validation can be earned by either establishing your own startup or even the out licensing opportunity is also there once you have the intellectual property protected by way of a patent that is other useful information sir this many day students were uh, concentrating more on publishing uh, their uh, work as a project work in the journal paper you have given another road map to them to publish it in a patent on product idea that's really a good thing to do that i would like to quote here the uh, uh, the statement by dr marshall kar okay sir he was always emphasizing that researcher mm. must learn mm. to patent first and then publish, publish. so okay. first patent it then publish it yes and this is the approach which we not just the student academicians mm. and the faculties also need to learn mm. that how we can allow the intellectual work mm. from mind to market okay yes that corrective understanding is required mm. in each and every academic institution yes and whatever they are doing we are we are not tempering with their research strategy we are just showing them a new standing position from yes. which they have to see the entire research yes yes and that will show them the intellectual property 
Great. In yes. their research work. Yes, sir. That is uh, really a useful message, sir. Uh, so, next question is, uh, uh, what is the objective of launching this national IP awareness machine? And how it is useful to the students, teachers and co faculty members from college and schools, sir? Few thoughts of yours. See, we have uh, in our national IP policy 2016, mm -hmm. we have emphasized on the IP awareness and promotion. Mm -hmm. And students and faculty must learn what is the intellectual property okay. and what all different tools of the IP mm. and how and why they should be protecting their intellectual property. Okay. And the last but not the least and most important in the entire IP journey mm. is respecting the intellectual property. Okay. Whatever the IP which has been created by self mm. or even by other, mm. how we can respect the intellectual property. Okay. So, these are the essential objective which we want to achieve through National Intellectual Property Awareness Mission. Mm. In short, it is called a NIPAM mm. and NIPAM initiative we have started in December 2021 okay. and till date mm. uh, around 2.4 million, okay. 24 lakh students, okay. youth okay. and the faculties mm. got uh, the I basic IP training okay. and this IP training we are going to further mm. make it available in a digital era. Okay. So, true. that each and every students can opt this mm. small course, maybe mm. a 3 hours of a course, but this will give them more insight mm, yes. what is the IP and why I should be protecting the IP. Yes. So many students I have seen, mm. they do a wonderful job, yes. wonderful research work in their master studies, mm -hmm. even during the Smart India hackathons. Yes. They are really designing a valuable solution, mm. but because this awareness is not there, mm. they are uh, not protecting this IP. Yes, yes. And the entire unique concept mm. is not getting the desired attention. Okay. So, friends, I once again emphasize that you must see the IP from the different lenses. Mm. And wherever if you feel that there is an intellectual property, try to protect this. That is uh, really great, sir. Like um, we have been. Uh, also part of this uh, NIPAM program, Ministry of Education Innovation Cell, been connected to the colleges and uh, there were nearly 80,000 80, plus students and faculties have been part of this program and 500 plus institution. Also, I want to convey that uh, around 800 institutions have registered with us. We are sharing with the data for uh, no, providing training to the faculties and uh, students of higher education institutions. So, the other one is we have a Kapila scheme which we support for patent filing and examination. Likewise, any other uh, scheme is there which incentivize for uh, fac filing patents sir, from uh, your good office? See, uh, Kapila scheme is a wonderful scheme. Yes, I sir. must appreciate for this. Mm. And this Kapila scheme's impact got amplified by four times. Yes, sir. While yeah. we have reduced the 80 percentage fee. Yes. And that is how we can cater a more number of a patent filing from the academic institution mm. utilizing the same budgeted value. Yes, yes. And now beyond this Kapila program, mm. there is one more scheme uh, under SIPP. Okay. This is something which is uh, facilitating the IP filing. Okay. Mm. And all the patent practitioners. Mm have come forward that we want to support this IP filing. That is great. In and earlier there the terminology was IP facilitator, but okay. now uh, Honorable CIM Piyush Goelji has termed this as a IP Mitra. Okay. Facilitator has a limited role, okay, but great. a friend mm. has a wider role. Yes, yes. And this IP Mitra, I liked the name very much. Mm. The IP Mitra is uh, empaneled as the facilitate the IP filing. Okay. And further, they can work hand in hand how to ensure that the IP which has been protected mm. that sees the commercial light also. Yes, yes. And all the IP support, filing, granting and even the legal support which is required, this has been offered under this program. And professional fee of the 
impaneled uh, patent agent mm. shall also be uh, offered as a token honorarium okay. under okay. the IP Mitra. Okay. So, there is a less burden on the uh, faculty or mm. student mm. to protect their IP and under Kapila you are reimbursing the official fees also. Yes, yes. Sir. So, if both the schemes mm. somebody try to combine mm. then absolutely at a zero cost you can protect your IP. Yes, yes. That's what can be best yeah. than this. That's that's good, sir. So sir, complementing uh, these two programs are complementing each other, and yes. that result has been shown mm. in last two years. Yeah. From ten thousand to twenty three thousand. Mm. Great. Now Great. this has a potential to even stand alone, mm. reach to seventy five thousand or one lakh oh, in yeah. the country. Yes. Yes. See if our academic institutions start protecting their IP, mm. the number will go like anything. Okay. That's and that is why the students, faculty need to be encouraged mm. for knowing that there is a IP in your work. Yes, yes. Protect it. Yes, sir. So, that is a, a very uh, informative, sir. And also, what uh, we have done is uh, through Kapila, uh, we have been jointly working with you on IPAM program. Along with that, you also helped us in uh, developing an IPA course uh, for uh, no, uh, undergraduate course for the students and uh, students. And from there, the last year we had more than 13,000 um, participants registered and this year again we have got 10,000 registration for the IP course. Along with that course, we have an, uh, for a school students, uh, we have a school innovation ambassador program. We have a 15 hour module on IP, which have been made that where students given more awareness. Uh, now, having a student trained through different courses, now we have been working with Department of School Education that. Uh, the additional secretary had came forward and mentioned to us that they are going to fund the for patent of the students in the school level. So, they said to start with they will be funding up to for 1000 patents they will be funding for the filing fee and examination fee. So, now it is as you said a, a system is created, a pipeline has been created from awareness to patent filing. Uh, I want to ask a very basic question sir which would be useful for the school students and uh, uh, college students who are looking in that. Who can apply for patent, sir? And uh, what is the process of it? See, uh, under the IP Act, any any, any mm. citizen can apply uh, for the patent, and any person mm. he is entitled to protect their IP right. Okay. Right. And <coughs> when I am answering, I am not just biased with the patent. Okay. I am answering on behalf of all S the uh, different provisions mm. in the IP. So. Uh, an inventor must see that there is some amount of IP in their okay. work and they can they should protect it. Mm. And patent application filing basically it is a techno legal document mm. in patent. Mm. So, whatever the technical work which they have done it, it is legally required to be drafted and mm. this is a skill mm. where the IP Mitra is going to help them. Mm. And this drafting of a specification mm. is supported by the experimental work which they have done in their lab mm. and the results which they have found it. Mm. Many times students and faculty see that this, this is the failure, uh, fail experiment okay. and they, they want to show only success. <laughs> Sometimes failure is also required mm. and friends again do not discard your LNBs, laboratory notebooks, because failure is also required for the patent filing. When we are trying to protect the IP, we also need to show that this is a negative result, this is not working and this is working. This proves that whatever the amount of resources which you have uh, used in your research, where the success is and this success need to be claimed in the patent filing and this will be protected and this will also be examined. It will be useful for your application that this is not working and this is working and why this is working need to be answered which will be proving that your work is a novel inventive step and having the uh, industrial applic applicability. So, this is something which is going to be useful and certainly it should not fall under the section 3 which is uh, referred as a non-patentable invention. 
So, this is very much required to learn and for this I think the basic course mm. is going to be useful mm. under the uh, Kapila scheme. Kapila scheme. Yes. And also before the basic course, I think NIPAM program will be also be useful. It is going to be online soon. Yes. So, that of this program register for this and there will be a basic understanding or basic screening will also be done. And if you have passed through this screening, you will get the E certificate also for this particular program. And certainly, this will help you to create your own foundation for IP mm. and then of the IP program under Kapila scheme. Mm. And once you have opted this program, you can later on utilize the benefits under Kapila and IP Mitra to protect your IP. Yes. That is good sir. You said your, your friend is there in your office to help us and uh, there were different schemes are there uh, through both the ministry. Just want to answer like uh, you said like for filing is been done within 10 days, it has been published now. Uh, what is the processing time from filing to granting sir, now sir? See earlier as I have mentioned that it used to be a 58 months, Okay. Sir. but now there are provision for the academic institutions mm. as I have quoted in rule 24 C mm. for expedited examination and practically we are examining all the application in 15 different class of a subject domain Okay. and among this 15 subject domain we have broadly classified grouping them into mm. the four groups. Okay. So, currently if I see mm. as on date mm. chemistry and biotechnology mm. which is the flagship and hotbed sector. Oh, okay. If any applicant is filing their IP, mm. they will get their examination report in within the uh, four months. Okay. In normal course, mm -hmm. if somebody need to further expedite, mm. file the form 9 and form 18A okay. and then you will, your application will get published in 7 days and mm. within 45 days you will receive the examination report. Okay. Once you receive the examination report, mm. you have to respond this in a time bound manner. Okay. Sooner is better. If mm. you respond to the examination report, Mm. clarifying all the doubts which has been raised for your invention. Mm -hmm. Then from that day reply received, okay. it will again within the three months it will get disposed. Okay. That's so, <laughs> this is the fastest in chemistry and biotechnology. Okay. Mm -hmm. For engineering, we are having mm. a higher number of a patent Pretty filing fine. and the okay people are desperate to protect the IP. Mm. So, for that they may need to use the expedited examination route mm. if they want the early grant. Mm. In other case also uh, this will get granted in 24 to 30 months. Okay. So, this is the benchmark which we want to achieve in the by end of this current financial year. Okay. That is uh, that's a good milestone sir, I am sure uh, and, uh, you will achieve this milestone in the uh, stipulated time. Uh, our next uh, question is uh, like, what are the um, obligations of the patent after the grant of patent, sir? See, uh, patent is a negative right. Okay. Sir. And whatever you have protected, mm. it is disregarding others from using this patented invention without your permission. Okay. Sir. So, as a patentee, mm. we need to think that we are designing the solution mm. which is useful for the society, mm. number one. Mm. Number two, if the patentee has designed the solution mm. for the societal challenges, okay. it is a moral duty of a patentee also to mm. use this solution mm. for the betterment of society. Okay. And while we are doing it so, mm. it is important that the fruits of the public funded research mm. is reaching to the society. Okay. I think that is the most important. Mm. And another obligation, once you have filed the patent, then you should be f submitting the statement of working under form 27. Okay. This is a legal provision, legal binding each patentee is having. Mm. And currently every year they have to submit this form 27. Okay, sir. And if you are not 
submitting this mm. and somebody wants to use it then there is also a provision and of a compulsory licensing mm. under section 84 of the indian patent act okay so somebody may ask for a compulsory license mm. if you are not commercializing it okay and nothing harm in giving the license mm. or rather than arising into that situation mm. Each patentee need to explore out licensing this IP okay. and identify the potential mm. commercialization opportunity. Mm, that's By chance, if somebody is using your intellectual property without your knowledge, mm. then in such case there is a potential infringer mm. who is using your IP without your approval mm. and there are legal remedies also which is in the act and through this remedies you can take the legal action mm. against such infringer. Mm. So, there are benefits of a patent filing and one, one thing for sure you will also show that you are a proud inventor to yes. your next generation. Yes, that is that's that is the joy of creating something new. Yes, sir. So, th this was a very uh, you know, inspiring and motivating for the young in innovators, sir. Majority of the innovators, they file the patent and you know, they do not follow up many, still it granted that. So, I want to also know from user, what are the rights of a patent once the patent is granted? So, that they will uh, feel and follow up with that, they will also uh, follow up, still it is granted with the patent. See, uh, the patentee can file form 8 hmm. for getting the name of inventor okay. in the patent certificate mm. and this is required to be filed along while responding the FER, mm. first examination report, report. and mm. subsequent examination mm. report. So, that before grant mm. under the legal provision you are intimating to the IP office that you want the each and every inventor's name. Mm appearing as such in the patent certificate okay. and then this certificate is available and recognizing the efforts made by the inventor mm. and the form 8 will help mm. the IP office to know that the applicant want their inventor's name as such published mm. in their mm. certificate. Yeah. So, this is a right of each and every inventor mm. Mm. and each and every inventor need to use this provision effectively. Okay. So, that in form 5 they are submitting the declaration of inventorship, hmm. but after that the real inventor who are real innovating the uh, work, hmm. research work hmm. and addressing the societal challenges or hmm. uh, uh, technological challenges, hmm. they are not getting recognized by uh, while we are awarding the IP certificate. Okay. So, applicant's name is mentioned. So, mm. I think this corrective action required to be done and this is the action which is triggering at the academic institution level. That is uh, that's a useful information sir, because uh, every student uh, once they file the patent, they will also follow up still it been granted with that. Mm. That would be a uh, no message which you convey to them, so that they will follow up with the patents which they have filed. So, uh, the last question to you is sir. Uh, is uh, the Indian patent database searchable? How can uh, one find out whether any invention is already patented or not? Indian patent database is searchable mm. and beside the Indian patent database, mm. whenever any applicant wants to file their patent, mm. they must review the literature, mm. uh, journal publication as well. Mm. And for patent, beside the Indian patent database, which is available through ipindia.gov.in, okay. there is a public search link, mm. and uh, there they can use the keyword to get the relevant patent applications mm. and granted patent as well. Mm. But beside the I Indian patent database, they should also search mm. the uh, World Intellectual Property Organization patent scope database, okay. European patent office database mm. and USPTO patent database. Mm. They are grossly covering the what is the landscape of a IP okay. in the subject speciality or in the uh, research work which you one wants to mm. uh, claim. 
okay. as their own intellectual property. Mm -hmm. Now the Japanese patent office and Chinese patent office are also offering the English translation. Oh, okay. That's a good So, uh, re, there is a no dearth of a, uh, information. information yes. or a knowledge. Correct. I think we need to uh, learn this mm. and under Kapila program also we can capture the how to search a patent. Mm -hmm. And okay. that program can also be uh, captured so that we can teach. Mm. When the baby is newborn, yes. <laughs> the baby does not know how to crawl okay. or how to uh, mm. stand uh, stable yes, and yes. Uh, take a few steps in, mm. the, uh, in the life mm -hmm. and how to walk and run. Yes. We handhold mm. and uh, offer them the support. Mm. Likewise, in IP journey, mm. the researcher need to handhold. Okay. We will right. offer this learning, yes. how to read this patent specification, mm. how to search the relevant prior art, mm. how to draft the patent specification mm. and how to capture the best available information in the mm. technological specification. Yes. And last but most important is to claim the invention. Mm. Many a time, uh, the uh, students and academicians, mm. they narrow the invention to such an extent, it difficults the enforcement of this IP. Mm. So, we should not lend up to such a situation. Mm. So, all these are the training which one must acquire. Mm. And we are here to support, handhold and offer you the training as well. Mm. The kind of an IP filing which is increasing. Mm. It is to such an extent that it is further uh, giving us the energy that how we can further amplify the growth of IP filing and grant mm. from the academic institution. Mm. And that would be the real contribution in the journey of Amrit Kal. Mm. We all want that Bharat should be the developed country, mm. but in Viksit Bharat, 2047, what is the contribution of each and every academic institution? What is the contribution of each and every faculty? What is the contribution by each and every students of a masters or doctoral studies or even the BTEC and B studies? You are going to design the faith of a Viksit Bharat. What kind of a Bharat we collectively want and what is individual contribution into this journey? I think we need to plan and decide. We need to take an oath today that what with what kind of a steps I am going to make in the next 5 years or 10 years of my professional journey. And what would be my intellectual support in the technology and knowledge embedded economy? That would be the real contribution by an individual in Amritkal. And this is required to be realized by each and every students, youth and the faculty in the country. Yes. That would be the true dedicated support mm. to the country in achieving the developed status recognition, which India is well deserving. India is a Vishwaguru in knowledge economy and intellectual work, but true results, true fruits will come out as a collective efforts by each and every student, youth and faculty of the country. Yes. <laughs> it is fantastic, sir. We have uh, overwhelmed by the answers you are given to us. We are uh, uh, happy to hear your 30 years experience you have been squeezed and expressed in 30 minutes. <laughs> so, it is a uh, fantastic and uh, we thoroughly enjoyed it and uh, th uh, thanks for uh, you are sharing your valuable time. Also, the contribution you made for the patent system. So, the drastic change with 270 percent of uh, increment in the growth of patenting and uh, the courses you introduced, the awareness program you made, you are covered from uh, school kids to postdoc uh, person by covering all aspects of patent. 
it is uh, uh, really thank you sir and uh, from bottom of heart from Ministry of Education Innovation Cell, AICT and uh, Kapila team. We thank uh, for your time uh, sparing with us and uh, answering all the questions which raised by the participants who are watching this program. And I also uh, thank on behalf of all the students and faculty members who are vis uh, who seeing this program across the country. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank Namaste. You.